A new tool that I'd like to share with you today is called Sketchpad. And if you will type in sketch.io, it will take you to this site. And then go down and click on the little S that is a link to Sketchpad. This is a tool that we have been using successfully in classrooms from kindergarten through um, AP high school classes. And um, the first thing that you'll want to do in Granberry ISD using this with your students if you or yourself, if you go down to the settings gear at the bottom left, you'll want to click on that. And by default, this is turned off where it stores your files in Google Drive. You'll want to turn that on so that the students or your sketches will be saved in your Google Drive. When you turn that on, there is a folder created in your Google Drive called Sketchpad, and that's where you'll find your sketches. So you can see here, when I click on this little folder at the bottom left, these are the sketches that I have um, used. This is an example of a supply and demand graph that has been used in a high school economics class. Um, you will notice that when you go down to the bottom left where it says new, when you click on that, it will let you choose whether you want the background to be blank, a grid, graph paper, lined paper, transparent, a blueprint, notebook, loose leaf. I'm going to choose lined and I'm going to create a new sketch. You can see here the tools you have if you choose the pen tool and click on this little drop down. You have all kinds of options here of what to use. Uh, I'm going to choose the crayon, then I can pick what color I want it to be, etc. And the width of my um, line that I'm drawing. If I want to move that around, I go over here to the top left and click on the little arrow and that will let me select whatever I've drawn and move it around. There's a clip art. There is a text um, tool. And you can go here and type whatever you'd like. Choose the font, the color that you want it to be. You can go here and choose a shape. Um, lots of different shapes there for you to choose from. So play around with some of those tools and think of ways that you could use Sketchpad in your classroom.